Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. My guest today is Jed O'Connor, head coach of the Trojan soccer team. Jed, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. And uh, soccer season uh, right around the corner, an opportunity for folks to go out there and see the Trojans hit the pitch. Uh, I know you got to be excited. So Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's been a good few days of preseason. Great weather, great facilities, great kids. Now we're just eager and excited to finally put the product onto the field. And uh, one of those things in this preseason and, and what you've been dealing probably the past two seasons is youth on this team. Very so, so. Uh, and still dealing with a little bit of that youth. But uh, so how's that transition of getting these the, the these youthful players in line with the more experienced players that you've already got on board? So that's one of the biggest challenges we face. Uh, we have the, the youthful, you know, excitement and they're all ready to go. And then by day five of preseason, like, oh, this is, it's a bit hard, <laughs> you know? So we have the senior class then who are able to kind of help them navigate just the, the challenges that they face. But it, it certainly helps to bring the, the, the two sets of players together, you know, the younger and the older. So we see them now walking across campus together or in the locker room laughing and joking together, which is, which is obviously a great part of it. And uh, you start early, uh, which yes. means that you've got to start your training earlier, meaning the heat of the summer. And talk about conditioning and getting the players ready to go and having to deal with those conditions out there. I, I think that's the biggest challenge for most programs. Uh, you know, the way the NCAA has set up our season, we start, we came in and had our first session, I think it was August 6th. First game is going to be what? August 19th, 20th, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can't really get fit in two weeks. It's five, six, seven weeks of work. So you're really reliant on the students doing the work before they get here. Because otherwise, once they get here and we just go hard straight at it, that's when their body is like, oh, <laughs> calm down, just slow down there. So uh, I think if, if, the, if the kids are able to do the work beforehand, it makes our life easier uh, with that fitness bit. And let's talk a little bit about the level of competition uh, going into play. Obviously, you've got a little bit of uh, non-conference play, but obviously the conference play is is the key and, the key, and, and yeah. trying to trying to make an improvement on what you saw last year. Big so. time, mm -hmm. big time. You know, we, we want the kids to enjoy the experience of playing. Uh, I think it's all well and good playing the, the Florida States and the Floridas and the Alabamas, you know, as, as often as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't get too much fun when if you play them back to back and there's a lot of running involved. <laughs> Um, so we think we've got a very good mix uh, within the non-conference schedule, uh, a number of different teams, a number of different types of soccer that we're playing against. So hopefully that's going to replicate teams that we play into the conference uh, schedule. Now, it's certainly something that we paid a lot of attention to in, in the details for our scheduling. So we, we, we've got a good set of games. I think uh, you know we're looking forward to playing a big game against Auburn, you know, only an hour and a little bit up the road. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one that the girls are already looking forward to. But yeah, I think every game's a big game and just getting out there and able to enjoy it is, uh, is important. And uh, obviously you get the benefit of starting the season on the home turf. Yes. Uh, they'll, they'll start off with a, with a tournament here at Troy to open the season officially. And that's got to be a, a great opportunity to be able to, to get things started here at home. So That's huge. I, I think having the two home exhibitions, uh, but then going into the home tournament opener, um, you know, certainly you see all the students now on campus and we were out there yesterday trying to make sure people knew about the upcoming games and handing out the schedules and schedule cards. So we're hoping that we can, uh, we can get quite a decent crowd at the, at the tournament uh, next weekend. And of course, uh, with that, you follow it up with another a short trip for another trip uh, here in, in the state. And so opportunity to not have to worry about your travel legs too yes. much this first couple of weeks. So. Yeah, for sure. I think we, we head down to a tournament at South Alu host mm -hmm. uh, us for, for the weekend. So. The, the schedule starts out quite well, uh, so hopefully we can build on that moving forward, get a few W's, get plenty of playing time, especially for the younger players on the roster before we, we move closer to the conference games. And get an opportunity to, to see the Trojans in a pair of exhibitions this weekend. Yes. Uh, there'll be one Friday night and Sunday afternoon, right? Exactly. So we play Friday night at home to Samford. Uh, and then uh, we play Sunday morning, actually late morning against uh, North Alabama. And then a chance to see uh, in action opening season, 
at the Trojan Soccer Complex to start the season the following weekend. The following so. weekend, Jackson State out of Mississippi uh, and also Tennessee Tech uh, who are heading down. So it, it should be fun. Good opportunities. Well, Jed, uh, good luck on the season. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you so, very much. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.